Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to take you around our main water base on the Ragnarok map. And there it is. I wanted to build something that looked good, and I had this design in my head for about a year and a half, ever since I built the water base on my PvP island map. But I couldn't build this there, because I couldn't find a good spot for it, and it would get raided. But now I've got my own server. I can build what I want. Make things look good instead of just a boxy crap. Now I'll show you around quickly. Uh, because I had the design already worked out, we built it straight into metal uh, to save us time messing about with stone. And I don't really like the look of stone except on castles. And this was the finished thing. So I'm going to land here. Uh, we needed a place for flyers to land. So I've extended this path out to give us lots of room. So we'll land the small ones here. We originally started off by building the pen for the water dinos. A square here. Uh, by doing pillars down to the ground and ceilings across the top. So we squared that off. It went okay, uh, but in this location there's rocks and coral. That's a bit of a pain because sometimes it didn't go all the way down to the ground and have to miss areas. Just switch. So don't suffocate. Uh, the pillars are one tile across and that will stop any external hostile water dino getting in uh, like mantas won't be able to fit through and obviously sharks won't so that's the main problem I was worried about uh, plus all the water dinos are neutral anyway so if any of them get attacked they can kill anything attacking them now I've got one behemoth gate door to let everything out let's go around the side uh, so you'd swim up here Open the gates and go in. We haven't got resources to make this tech at the moment, but when we do, we'll finish this off. Put my jetpack on so I can move faster. Right, I've done this kind of submarine pen uh, for when we take the sea dinos out, like the Mosas. We can park them in here, go in the building, do what we want, and then come out again instead of having to keep uh, going in and out the doors. Because you don't really, really want to leave your dino outside unprotected because it might get attacked and killed. Because you never know if things take longer than they should do. Uh, I built the pen for the mouse, I'll show you an empty one. So it's wide enough to fit the mouse in. Then I've put these two pillars here to stop its nose from going any further. So it parks it perfectly like that. Which I like. Now, they may, when you park your dinos here, they may get attacked and followed by hostile ones. So I've put this turret here and I've tried to make as much turret, uh, tech stuff as I could. So, the slant's down here, so if anything comes in that entrance, the turret will shoot down there. And it's slanted here, and it'll shoot anything down this side. And just get to the tech turret, it looks pretty good. So, actually, only one we've built. Uh, to use, to fire it, you use these element shards, where you break element down into these shards and actually fires. So, if can. Let's change its range, see if it shoots anything. No, nothing's in range. I think it's killed everything. So that'll stop anything attacking our parked dino. So we don't have to worry about those getting killed. Range back to low. And I've got two of those pens, one for me, one for Muspa. And we can extend more this side, but it's rock underneath will be a pain to build on. Just go on top. No 
Okay. I have to put these. These are tech lights. And you can also pick these up and move them around. Scattered a few of those around. There. Uh, this side. You've seen a tech shock saddle in the previous video. And the mouse attack saddle. I put ramps up here if you haven't got a, a jetpack so you can get up here and fly away on your bird. Because to be honest, most of the time you just land here, uh, feed your dinos, take your dinos out, bring them back here, get on your bird and fly away again. So this is a like the main landing area. Okay, I'll take you inside. I originally built this whole thing out of metal, but then we completed all the tech uh, engrams. And so I've tried to incorporate some tech into it, so it looks more interesting. Plus I wanted a base out of tech, but it's going to take a while to build a fully tech one. I like these doors, they look cool. Right, everything is powered. In fact, I'll show you inside, start this side. Right, this is our workroom, and everything is powered by the tech generator. Now, you stick element inside, and it does like a energy field around. I'll show you how it does it. Show generate the range. And it does like a circular globe, and that's where the power generates out to. And it just incorporates this turret. And that's what's actually powering this turret, the tech generator. And all the lights and everything in there. Including these doors, which are cool. Saves us open and close it. And if you go to the check tech generator, you can adjust its range. Radius, there we go. So it starts off fairly small. And you can adjust it to... 10 times but the element lasts quite a long time so you can with farming a lot of it uh, stick it in and it lasts a very long time like I say this is our crafting area so if there's anything we need to build or repair we can do it here we've not really used this much like I say I've just finished it uh, vault here I'll show you upstairs in a minute through here I've got two more vaults. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Maybe make it a vault room because it's in the middle of a building. Here we have a downstairs hangar. A vault over there. Uh, I like these big dino gates. Saves opening it. This is our top of jar. I'll show you that at the end. This is tech uh, ramp. Right. Oh, it's a pterodon. Is that going to get shot by the turret? Let's see if I can push it onto it. Go away. No, it's going in the wrong direction. Let's try the range on the tech turret. Stick it up to high range so it'll shoot anything. All right, change there. Go. Come on, birdie, come back. If I hear it blasting when I'm inside, you know what it is. Right, what was it doing? That's it. So, this side is our downstairs hangar where we can keep more flies if you wanted to. Uh, we've got a ramp up this side and a ramp up that side. Right, in here. It's kind of a spare room at the moment. We've done a slanted roof to make it look more interesting. Uh, here we've got another small hangar. Uh, maybe replace that with a tech door, but it's not really needed. Here we've got a bigger landing pad, so we can have a couple of dragons here. 
Like most most of the time we fly around on griffins, but we never know if you need to carry stuff around on a wyvern. So we can land two over here. And we've got a walkway over around the side, which looks nice. We've got tech ramps going down to this side so we can access the wyverns from any direction. Right, back inside. So we've got a couple of bunk beds where we spawn at. Another vault. I've put a backup generator in there just in case we need one. It's not linked to anything at the moment because the tech generator does a really good job. Right, from here we can go back down to here and we're back in the crafting room. There's must be fast asleep, bless him. <laughs> right, that's the building. I'll show you the top of jar tech, tech saddle, which looks nice. Not sure about his round thing its wings though, but I suppose it's pivots for when it flaps its wings. Alright, well that's what it looks like when it's flying. Right, you press control. I'm going to switch to its front view. Watch its nose. Press control. You get a little laser gun come out of it. Where is that pterodon? I'll shoot. Now, it looks good, but it would have been better if I put uh, rockets on the back of this tech saddle to give us, like, super speed, where you can run with your uh, tech armor. And speaking of which, I'll show you what mine looks like now. Uh, just put your helmet back on. There's the official Nooblet's orange color. Looking good black and orange I think it must be going to go for red and black I've gone for orange and black alright, there's my tech armor Right, I built this location here because uh, our main base is up there next to the castle and I think this is the safest area to build our water base so we can just fly down here on a griffin quickly and also we could if we wanted to block this off with like a behemoth gates to stop anything chasing us back in here. I suppose we could put like, when we start breeding mosses, which I must be did a video on a couple of days ago. Uh, I suppose we could put spare ones in here, have them on neutral or aggressive, and it'll clear everything out around here. We store the mosses in this section. We can always extend the base here as well. Uh, but that's about it, I think. Uh, I hope you like seeing our base, guys. If you haven't seen our Moser and Shock saddle video, I'll give you a quick look. Before we go. Right. Zoom in, press control. It covers his eyes, which looks cool. We take the mouses out mainly. Uh, we don't really need the shock anymore. I just want to see what the tech stuff look like. Show you again on the mouser. That's the best animation. Hopefully we're putting some more tech saddle stuff for the rest of the dinos and sea creatures. Because I think our next video may be uh, a giant squid. 
but we might have to tame one of uh, some creatures before that. Okay guys, it's raining, it's getting dark, so I'll leave it at that. That's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload. Plus you can check out the next episode plus other helpful videos on this playlist. Goodbye and hope to see you next time.